is bread wheat. And 20% of the calories consumed by people on Earth are this plant. And you may think this plant has been around forever. What could be more fundamental perhaps than bread? But actually this plant was uh, evolved uh, first in domestication in an area called the Fertile Crescent. This is essentially uh, Anatolia and Turkey, Israel, uh, Syria, uh, and, and a, a region in which a lot of the plants and animals that are in our diet today first were taken into agricultural production. So how exactly did a plant like this, which is grown all over the world now, uh, arise in the Fertile Crescent? Well, um, it was discovered around 1900 that this plant, which is called Emma wheat, uh, was the wild progenitor. This was the wild species from which that eventually evolved. But later uh, research discovered that this plant is actually a hybrid. It was a cross between a wild goat grass like this and one of the ancestors of this plant. So when this plant was first chosen by the first, uh, the first agriculturalists, the first farmers maybe 12,000 years ago, they were already dealing with a plant that in nature had been produced by hybridization. This became uh, the basis of huge civilizations. So the pyramids, what are the pyramids made of? You'll say they're made of stone and of course they are, but they're just as much made of bread wheat as they are of, of emma wheat as they are of stone because without the grains that fed the people who built the pyramids there simply would have would be no pyramids and we know from archaeological evidence that this is the species that fed the workers who built the pyramids each of them lived in a hut that was equipped with a grinding stone and an oven so they each made their own bread and it was also the currency that was used in the economy of ancient Egypt. And you'll see in paintings inside uh, uh, some of the pharaoh's tombs, pictures of the whole process from uh, fields full of this species right through to people baking bread. Um, so we know this is very ancient, at least 5,000 years old. Uh, but in fact, uh, bread wheat goes back even further than that. It wasn't, uh, it didn't reach Egypt, but it was, it evolved probably somewhere uh, in what is now uh, Iran from another, a second hybridization between one of these goat grasses and Emma. And the result was about 8,000 years ago, the evolution of bread wheat, something like this. Now evolution doesn't stop. So this isn't the exact plant that evolved 8,000 years ago, but its ancestor, is that old. So our diet um, has these fascinating evolutionary uh, origins. And next time you eat a sandwich, think about that.